wet hair, don't care. Hola, act with the book of you. I come to the realization, don't really like hair. <laughs> That is all. Not of the review, but all I've come to realize. I also, forewarning, I do not like smut. I do not like that kind of content. Say my name. Now I know what you're saying. Why would you read books with it in it if you don't like it? Well, because I don't know what's in it. Until it happens and I'm like, oh. Oh, we're doing this. Cool. All right. This book has three. <laughs> Which book am I talking about? Monster's Power, the second book in the Shadow of Blood Souls series by Eva Chase. Here's the summary. The truth has come to light. But can I ever trust my men again? After weeks of cruel hostility, the guys I swore to save know how wrong they were, at least about what I did for four years, four years ago. Now that they've seen my horrifying new powers, will they decide I'm an enemy after all? With what they put me through, I'm not sure I even want to stick with them. These brutal men aren't the boys I fell in love with anymore. But nothing matters more than learning how to control my own vicious urges. So I'll accept a tentative truce while we hunt down more answers by turning into the very monster our creator feared most. I did a review on Shattered Vow, before this one and i gave it a 3.5 this one i will give a tentative three so let's start with the good i really really do like eva chase's style i like the way she writes i really like the combat i like the short paragraphs the short chapters i do enjoy the depth of the characters that she delves into and their thoughts on certain things and i do like seeing multiple point of views that's really cool but the biggest is an actual booty head. I don't like Jacob. Now I know in the last one I was talking about there are too many people get mixed up. Now I've got more of a grasp now than in the second book. I kind of know who's who and who she's done stuff with. Even when skimming it just kind of... I don't like Jacob at all. I have it from the first book. I kind of don't mind if he dies. Because, so in the first one, he instructed them to keep her poisoned. And they kept her on the brink of, you know, between life and death to have her prove that, you know, she's not betraying them and that's all him. Then he goes all sad boy on us. Not like cute, shy, sad boy that I actually like, but sad boy as in he goes so far to completely massacre people that were shooting at her. Granted, they are hunting them down and trying to kill them too. However, he cuts off all their hands and brings them to her. And she's like, he's like, oh, I should be, I feel like I should be grossed out, but it's really sweet that he did. No, it's not. It's kind of insane. And he's like, my hands hurt you too. I don't deserve them. And then started trying to what to his own hand. I'm all for a booty character, but that's the equivalent of, if you don't love me, I'm going to hurt myself. First one I had a problem with how she was treated. It's mainly by Jacob, but it's by the entire, it's on all of the guy's shoulders and it's on her for staying. I would have left. I would have so hightailed it out of there, never looked back. I know she has some kind of bond with them, but oh my gosh, none of them deserve her. But that's saying something because normally books like these, the main character is insufferable. I really like Reva. I like who she is and uh, how she's portrayed and all that. I really, really like her character. None of these guys deserve her. This isn't like The Hunger Games where everyone's like, oh, she didn't deserve either Gail or Peta. No, 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 no. They don't deserve her. She is great. They are insufferable. Okay, they get better throughout the book, but specifically Jacob. It's like, oh my gosh. Whenever he did that, I was like, oh. And then I feel like the last moment between them bonding and stuff, it was forced. It felt very forced to be like, to cover up everything that happened in the first book. And it, it's like, oh look, he's actually a good guy. It's okay. And I'm just like, no, girl, no. That's extremely like deadly toxic, literally. And he is the one that poisoned her. Yeah, it's his poison now that I think about it. Cause now I'm caught up with their stuff. Oh my gosh. That is the biggest issue I have with this book. Also, they kind of just get handed everything throughout the first two books. I don't know. I know that people are chasing them, trying to kill them, but I feel like the allies that they make kind of just hand things to them. But you know, other than that, I really liked the lore. I liked them delving into the shadow creatures and meeting the new characters. The ending, I do like the ending. I, I think it's interesting and it does make me go, who did? What's this? Except the fact it sounds like a spoiler. I did like the ending. I appreciate the ending. I really enjoyed it. And I am, I have mixed feelings about starting the third book. Cause I'm gonna get through the series. I'm gonna read this whole series. Unless something extremely 
happens and I'm like, no, I cannot read anymore. Boys, girls, do not treat other people the way that Jacob treats Reba. Pretty please, I beg of you, do not treat people that way. Moving on. The good aspects of the book, I've already said them. Eva Chase is a really great writer. I do enjoy her writing style. I don't know if I will pick up any more books after this. There is one that I do want to read because I do have it on my list of books that I want to read this year and I kind of want to stick to it because I'm really bad at sticking to things. But I don't know if I'm going to read any other series by her after this, but we'll see. If, if this book sounds like something you're interested in, definitely check it out. The, the link is in the description and I guess one more thing. Another thing I don't like about harems is she's like, I love all of them. I'm not into that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you are interested in the book, links below. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.